This was always going to be the last decade of the People's Republic of China. Most important reason why. We are having government collapse. Chairman Xi has instituted a per cult of personality far tighter than any world leader in history, including Mao, including the Chinese emperors of old, including Donald Trump. He has intimidated into silence or imprisoned or executed everyone within not just the CCP, but the broader system who is capable of independent thought. He no longer has advisors. No one wants to bring him information because they don't know how he's going to react. He has literally shot the messenger so many times that he is making decisions in the dark. Now, this has horrible implications for any economic system, but in a one-man show, it means nothing gets done unless the leader gives you a written order or you're one of the zealots who sees him on TV and is like, oh, this must be what he meant. Chinese history is replete with examples of how it can all go to hell in a very short period of time. So I am not making a prediction on specifically how it will go down. There are, there are just too many paths forward. Sometimes it is overnight. Sometimes it's over a year. Sometimes it's over a generation. Demographics gives us a hard stop of 10 years. So it's between now and then on some sort of time frame. Uh, as for it's very the, soon. Yeah, it's very, very soon. Uh, geopolitically speaking, this is practically a blink in an eye. Uh, demographically speaking as well. Uh, the issue to watch with China now is that their, their labor costs have increased at a faster clip than at any time in history in any country, including the Black Death. There's a, a dozen major reasons that I don't think the Chinese system is going to survive this, this decade, but let me give you the two that are absolutely unassailable. Uh, first of all, China is the third most internationally integrated country in the world after the Germans and the Koreans. They are utterly dependent upon globalized access to raw materials and markets the world over. They import the raw materials, they import the technology, people forget that, that, that piece sometimes, and then they export the finished goods. That does not work without a globalized world, and there is no coalition of countries that can replace the United States as the guarantor of that world. And with the Americans going their own way, that's it. The entire economic model doesn't work. One of the great underlying myths of the past years is that the Chinese economic miracle, and it was a miracle, is eternal. I see China weakening, becoming a less of a force, and the People's Liberation Army is an internal security force. It's not going to attack anyone. This China is not part of China. These factories don't sell in China. You can't sell those products to people who are at a subsistence level agricultural life. These are extensions of the West. These factories are part of the American economy, the Australian economy, the European economy, but mostly the American economy. The leading wave was always going to be one of two sectors, energy, because it's so sensitive to disruptions and demand is inelastic. And we're definitely, we're on the leading edge of seeing that. We haven't gotten there quite yet. I'm expecting the majority of Russian oil to just fall off the market within the next couple of months and then we'll be there. And then the other one is manufacturing because supply chains are so complicated and complex. Uh, and we're, we started seeing that three years ago, actually, with COVID and with the rising trade tensions with the Chinese. Uh, we now have the Chinese actively panicking about supply chains because they can't not do COVID lockdowns because their vaccine doesn't work. And they now realize that they've had two American presidents back to back that are hyper populist. And everything that Trump said he was going to do, Biden is actually turning into policy. At that point, China was already the fastest aging society in human history, and it was aging towards oblivion at a rate we couldn't even consider possible until 10 years ago. According to this data, China by the year 2100 will have less than half the population it has today. Since then, the Chinese have started releasing bits and pieces out of their 10-year census. They now believe that they've overcounted their population in excess of 100 million people. The best guess that we have from what they have chosen to share is that the yellow bars don't even exist. If this is true, China's population will drop by half by 2050. Most of us are going to live to see the end of the Han ethnicity, much less the People's Republic. The, the biggest panic, the biggest damage that we are seeing from the Ukraine war outside of Ukraine, obviously, is in China. Because in one month, 
the Russians have pulled back the blinders on what has been a 50-year strategic program. The idea that China can become the global power with American sponsorship, with American indifference, that it can take Taiwan, that it can intimidate Japan, that it can dominate all of East Asia, and yet not suffer economically at all. It was always ridiculous, but now it's been shown to just be absolutely stupid.